from Canonical, and I'm here to introduce the, the Wise Synchine solution, the Wise T50. So it's uh, based on Marvel Adama um, oh. SOC. Yeah. yeah. So it's a uh, Cortex 8, 8 and uh, it's running in 1 gigahertz. Yeah. So this, you can see the phone factor is very small and it's the phone cost is very cheap. And also provides a much more low power cons consumption. So there's DVI, yes, it's on it, two USB here. Actually, it's four. In four? four? Yeah, two in the two front, front panel, yes. And with the SD card slot. So this one is configured to be Ubuntu powered thin client. How does it work? Where, okay. where is Ubuntu? So you can see this. This is the uh, SFC uh, desktop. Uh, based on the Ubuntu, yeah. so this we call it is uh, the Ubuntu Core solution. So all of the applications and the desktop appearance is based on our Ubuntu Core. So it's okay. our kernel and our our packaging. And so you click on this one, for example, and yes. it just pops out immediately. And where does it come from? The app? Where is it running? Uh, you mean the Chromium browser? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, it's running in the machine. In the uh, in the Marvel part machine. Yes, yes. It's not running on a server. No, 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 no. But you know that this is uh, provide uh, used to provide the client and server solution. So uh, basically, they have some uh, something like the browser. Of yeah. course, the browser is running in the uh, client side, and you can also see that uh, you can add uh, a lot of uh, connections to to your server side. Of course, some of the server will be uh, the Linux or Windows server. Nice, so basically the browser is one of the ways to, it's one of the things that run on the thin client. Yes. But you don't run the big apps on the thin client. Yes. Those you run on the server, yes. right? Uh, yes, of course. I, I'll show you the demonstration yeah. later. Yeah. Yeah. You also can see that uh, some, something like the spatial VMware OpenView client. It's a client solution on the on devices, yeah. All right. Okay. So let me show you something. Okay. For example, I already create some some application, some sh shortcut uh, for the demonstration. So I think the for the client and server uh, client and server scenario, we are very familiar with uh, the remote something like the remote desktop. So we can just use the VNC viewer to connect to a remote uh, Ubuntu desktop. How remote is that? Is it under the table or very yeah. far away? It's, it's under the table. And so the, uh, for the demonstration, I just compute uh, the local, the local lab. OK. Yeah. OK. Let's see. OK. Or we can use the uh, remote desktop to connect to a uh, Windows server. All right. Yeah, something like that. But it's, it's quite normal. So. There's Windows, and the top is uh, some kind of, uh, what you call this, uh, tray. Tray, yes. Tray, I yes. tray, uh, tray bar. Yeah, so, of course, when you connect to the remote machine, it's using the remote uh, uh, remote server resources to yeah. do the, yes. What happens if you click on the browser? It's just there immediately, the br up there. Yes. And it's local. It's yeah. not the remote oh, it's hard a, browser. It's a remote. It's a remote. I, I'll, I'll show this solution later. It's uh, something like uh, related to the Citrus uh, application. It's also very good. Uh, but that's on, uh, I mean, that's uh, in the browser, but the browser is actually run locally, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. The browser application is run locally, but uh, yeah. you know the IP is in a remote yeah. machine. Is it fast enough to run everything, like Flash, uh, advanced things? Yes. Uh, Flash is uh, a little bit local, uh, unique, because you know that for the ARM machine, yeah. uh, how much you always need uh, some special codec for yeah. support uh, the fresh decoding. Okay. And Marvel, Marvel, this Marvel chip already yeah. uh, passed the uh, Adobe uh, certification. Fresh, yes, certification. All right. Yes. So unfortunately, it's local land, so you. No problem. Yeah, you you cannot uh, see this. Okay. All right. So we are here in Windows. Yes. And it's it can run. Can 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 you run the Windows over the internet? Or it has to be local. Uh, no, it's all it's all local. Then. Everything has to be local. Uh, no, it's not. It can just for the demonstration. Okay. Yes. But if it's over the internet, it's slow. Mm, 
if you run through the uh, it depends on the depends. Yes, yeah, it depends. Yes. Okay, let me show you something different. Okay. So I think mostly for right now, uh, for the client and server solution, uh, they are Citrix and VMware, the different yeah. scenarios. And okay, so uh, we can use the VMware uh, view client to connect uh, to a remote client. But it's, it's a little bit different with the uh, remote desktop. It's, it's really connect to a VMware connection manager. Yeah. Yeah. Just connect. Uh, connect. Login. Login. And yeah, connect. So the VMware Connection Manager will management a lot of machines and virtual images and uh, let uh, let the client side to connect to the Connection Manager and do the remote login. So it's a little bit different with the remote desktop uh, concept. Virtualization somehow? Yes. Yeah. Something like this. Yes. All right. So how much does it cost, this solution? Uh, the cost? Yeah. Mm, free? Uh, to no. Ubuntu? Uh, Canonical? They charge for, a fee? Uh, for the client side? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, maybe this question should ask twice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Ah, it's wise. So yeah, basically, it's, wise. it's combined uh, in the machine. Is there? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Right. So, okay. So, I'm going to show you something a little bit special for you. Okay. So right now I'm connected to a remote uh, Citrix application server. Yeah. Okay. So let me do the login. Right, he logs in. Checking the Unity over here. I'm looking at the view. Type And you logged in. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you can see that uh, I I export some of the Windows application in the Citrix uh, application server. So you can see that. Uh, I can run the Windows application in the um, Linux on client. Nice. You clicked and it downloaded something. Yep. Is it downloading? Yeah, it's downloading. Nice. The Citrix does it through the browser. Yes. So it's very cool. And you can see uh, while the <laughs> you, here is a Windows. There's a Windows. <laughs> Windows just booted or something. Yes. Yeah. Actually, uh, the whole, whole whole environment is based on the Ubuntu. But, yeah. uh, but after the application launch, you feel like uh, you're using Windows right now. Take a little bit. But it's doing everything locally now. Uh, or is there some internet going on? No, still local lab. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a remote server. So is it gonna be faster? Yes. Uh, what needs to be, be? What needs for it to be faster? Uh, it depends on. This should be. Okay. There it is. Yeah. So what do you need to do to run things faster? Uh, in the environment. Yeah, and here. In here. Is that some code optimization or is just this network is slow or? Yeah, should be some ne network issue right now. Yeah, too many right. machines. Yeah. So it's seamless. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. No problem.